The Harry Potter franchise written by J.K. Rowling consists of eight fantasy films that truly launched the careers of its main cast. However, among them were also brilliant actors that all had long careers in the entertainment industry. Today we'll be breaking down all the Harry Potter actors that we've lost over the years and in doing so, celebrate their life and work. Welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm your host Johnny Rogers and before we kick this video off, if you want to see more videos just like this one, all you have to do is tap that playlist in the corner of your screen. Also, if you don't want to miss another daily video from us, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Now, thank you for the delay, let's get right into today's list, the Top 10 Harry Potter stars who passed away. In at number 10, Elizabeth Spriggs. The unfortunate thing about this role for Elizabeth is that she will always be remembered by Harry Potter fans as the fat lady. Well, the original one, that is. Elizabeth appeared in the Philosopher's Stone, and she was the guardian of the entrance to the Gryffindor common room. Even though she was representing the living portrait of a character in this world, the fat lady is actually one of the few characters that J.K. Rowling neglected to give a backstory to. So instead, let's give a backstory for Elizabeth. She was an Olivier-winning and BAFTA-nominated actor that joined the RSC and has notably appeared in Sense and Sensibility, Simon and the Witch, and and of course, Doctor Who. Elizabeth passed away on July 2nd, 2008 at the age of 78. In at number 9, David Real. David was actually the second actor to play Order of the Phoenix member Alpheus Doge after he took over for Peter Cartwright. David was brought in when the plot of the Deathly Hallows required more of a performance than Peter was capable of giving. David was an on-screen veteran and first enjoyed success in the acting world when he appeared with the Lawrence Olivier's National Theatre Company. Some of his biggest credits include City of Ember, Oliver Twist, Around the World in 80 Days, Casualty, Prime Suspect, and so many others. He was also well known for performances that would blend his classical training with a side of comedy. David's last appearance was in Call of the Midwife, where he played Tommy Mills. The episode aired on BBC One in March of 2015 and was dedicated to his memory in the closing credits. David passed away on Christmas Day in 2014 at the age of 79. In number 8, Alfred Burke. Now, you may not have noticed Alfred's appearance in Harry Potter, and that's totally okay. That's what you have me for. Alfred Burke was one of the least noticeable actors in the series, and it's all thanks to the character that he portrayed. Alfred played Professor Armando Dippet, who was once the headmaster of Hogwarts before Dumbledore had arrived. Due to him not really being part of the current storyline, he simply appears in the Chamber of Secrets during the flashback sequences that wind the film back to when Tom Riddle was attending Hogwarts. His moment on screen, however, is a blink and you'll miss it moment. Burke's face can actually only be glimpsed at for a brief second and yet despite this, hardcore Harry Potter fans still argued that his character had more hair than the book's description had suggested. Like most of the Harry Potter cast, Alfred was also an RSC veteran and had numerous credits to his name. He starred in films such as Public Eye and played Long John Silver in the Treasure Island miniseries. Unfortunately, Alfred Burke passed due to a chest infection on February 16th, 2011, just 12 days before his 93rd birthday. In at number 7, Marjorie Mason. For many, Marjorie is an inspiration to never stop doing what you love. Marjorie became an actress in 1923 and continued to act all the way until 2005, with her final appearance being on the TV show called Brief Encounters in 2006. However, a year prior, at the age of 92, Marjorie replaced Jean Southern as the Honeyduke's trolley witch that was attempting to push candy on the children as they traveled to Hogwarts. The veteran actor was also incredibly fit as she learned how to scuba dive at the age of 81 and even would swim five times a week until she was 99 years old. She truly was an excellent example of a life well lived. Some of her other big movie credits included Love Actually, The Princess Bride, and 101 Dalmatians. Marjorie Mason passed away peacefully at the age of 100 on January 26, 2014. In at number 6, Richard Harris. The passing of Richard Harris really switched up the entire flow of the Harry Potter franchise because it meant that they had just lost one of their key players. Richard had appeared twice as Albus Dumbledore and was already a beloved character by Harry Potter fans. His portrayal of the character was much more softer than his replacement's performance. He seemed to be more wise and caring even though Michael Gammon's performance became better suited to the more complex material later on. Plus, there is no denying that he certainly looked the part and exactly how fans imagined this character would appear. His role as Dumbledore was one of the last films in a long line of stellar performances that Richard had delivered over the years. As he rose to the top of the British film industry, he earned himself two Oscar nominations as well as a Golden Globe and a Grammy. Harris was diagnosed with Hodgkinson's disease in August of 2002, reportedly after being hospitalized with pneumonia. He passed away at the University College Hospital in Bloomsbury, London on October 25, 2002 at the age of 70. In at number 5, Roger Lloyd Pack. Perhaps one of the biggest mistakes made in Goblet of Fire was putting the backstory of Roger's character on the cutting block. The film was already going longer than expected, so it meant that they needed to cut things out to have a more manageable runtime. Roger played the character of Barty Crouch Sr., and the reason why the character was still good despite a backstory all stems from the incredible performance delivered by Roger Lloyd Pack. Although the removal of his nefarious involvement with releasing his son from Azkaban definitely left the character in a weird spot. Roger was perhaps most well known, though, for his long running appearance as Trigger in Only Fools and Horses. However, in his illustrious career, he was able to land many other big shows such as Doctor Who. Unfortunately, Roger Lloyd Pack passed from cancer on January 26, 2014 at the age of 69. In at number 4, Peter Cartwright. Before David Real took over his role in The Deathly Hallows, legendary actor Peter Cartwright played the role of the silent member in The Order of the Phoenix that turns up first in the fifth film. Cartwright's career spanned over four decades and he often would appear in British soap operas. A true veteran of the stage and screen, some of his most famous roles were in Place of Execution, Gandhi, and of course his Harry Potter debut was also applauded by fans. Peter Cartwright 
Cartwright was the original pick for the character of Elphius Doge though, and for good reason. He really looked the part, and even though he never got much screen time, it did not go unnoticed by those hardcore Harry Potter fans. Peter Cartwright unfortunately passed due to cancer on November 18th, 2013 at the age of 78. In at number 3, Jimmy Gardner. Jimmy Gardner began acting professionally in the early 1960s and has appeared in countless films and television shows including Doctor Who, The Adventures of Young Indiana Jones, and Finding Neverland. Before taking up acting professionally, he was the personal driver to the playwright John Osborne. He also survived two shipwrecks during the Second World War and even once worked as a grave digger. He may not have said much in his appearance as Ernie Prague, the driver of the night bus, but he did look made for the wizarding world of Harry Potter. With his wild white hair and goggle-like glasses, he delivered a stellar performance. In total, Jimmy had clocked in more than 100 films and television productions in his career, which is just sensational. Jimmy Gardner passed away at the age of 85 on May 3rd, 2010. In at number 2, Robert Knox. This loss to the Harry Potter franchise has to be the most disturbing and traumatic. Robert Knox was a British actor that was cast as Marcus Belby in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. He had even been signed to reprise his role in the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Tragically, just a few days after he filmed his scenes, the 18-year-old was stabbed to death outside of a pub in a London suburb. He died defending his younger brother from an attacker named Carl Bishop. On March 4th, 2009, the BBC reported that Bishop was found guilty of Knox's murder and was given a life sentence for the conviction. Later on, the Bexley Film Festival decided to change their name to the Rob Knox Film Festival in order to pay tribute to him. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman was truly one of Britain's greatest actors to ever take to the screen and stage. He was comfortable playing grandiose villains in films such as Die Hard while also being able to play dependable romantic figures in Sense and Sensibility. Man, a lot of people did that movie. Without a doubt though, he quickly became a Hollywood A-lister and an immediately identifiable actor thanks to the smooth purr in his voice only overshadowed by his cutting sarcastic delivery. For a character that became so beloved by Harry Potter fans, Alan actually didn't do that many films or win that many awards. However, you can't think about Severus Snape without thinking about him and that has to say something about his ability to perfectly capture a character. Unfortunately, in August of 2014, Rickman suffered from a minor stroke, which led to the diagnosis that he had pancreatic cancer. He concealed his terminally ill fate from everyone except for those close to him. On January 14th, 2016, Alan Rickman passed away in a London hospital surrounded by his friends and relatives. Not too long after, his fans created a memorial underneath the platform 9 and 3 quarters sign at the London King's Cross railway station. And today, I'm not going to be reading on any of your comments. I'm really sorry. I know a lot of you love the comment features, but on lists like this, I just it's not that appropriate. So with that, though, that has been the top 10 Harry Potter stars who passed away. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to the most amazing team behind the scenes for all of their hard work. If you enjoyed this video, then please show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, as always, don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on today's list. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it pops up. From Top 10 Beyond the Screen, my name is Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy.